Hey, Abundant Parents, it's Leah. In this video, I'm going to give you the six ways that kids teach us all about the law of attraction. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please hit subscribe. I do post a new video at least once a week, oftentimes more. So also hit the bell. That way you'll be notified when I post new videos. When we are born, we already have our own purpose and ideas. We are already completely in alignment with our inner guidance. We are already following the laws of attraction, but we lose our way into adulthood. So here are the six ways that kids already know all about the law of attraction and they teach us. So the number one reason that kids are so good about teaching us about the law of attraction is that they are born with their own ideas and purpose. And for any of you that watch my videos, you know I talk about this all the time. It's hard because sometimes their ideas and their purpose aren't in line what we think we know is best for them or the ideas that we have uh, for them. So getting our ego out of the way, really paying attention to what their ideas and purposes are. Additionally, kids can really create a lot of manifesting momentum of their very own, even in the course of their own childhood day. This is one of many reasons why free play for kids is so important to allow them to get into those natural organic rhythms that are in alignment with their own inner truth. And why so often kids really struggle with having to stop one activity and move on to another. It's, it's those transitions. It's breaking up that flow of, of that manifesting energy that they're really in alignment of. The second reason kids are so amazing at teaching us all about the law of attraction is because they understand that their feelings are okay, that all feelings, good or bad, are okay. And this is so good even for us as adults to really get back in alignment with. So when we are, both us or our kids, when we are behaving in ways that are, are in low vibration for us, so we're feeling sad or tired or angry or any of those low vibration feelings, it's because what we are doing is not in alignment for us. Sometimes this can even mean that what we've been doing is not in alignment for us. And so then what we're left with is the repercussion of pushing through what's not in alignment with us. And so we're feeling really tired, really burned out, like we really need that downtime. That happens for kids too. And this is why it's so important to, I say teach your kids to know their truth, but they're already born with their truth. They're already trying to teach us. And then we kind of unravel that as time goes along. So it's so important to, to instill in your child to maintain what they already know is what feels good for them. It's helping them to know their truth, their truth, to recognize it. And then respecting and, and listening to your child when they're telling you that something doesn't feel in alignment for them. Helping your child to maintain this is so powerful and they are teaching this excuse me, teaching us this every single day. The third way that our kids are always teaching us about the law of attraction. They're teaching us that everyone is our teacher, that we are learning from everyone and everything that crosses our path. My kids are the ones that give me the biggest cues when I am out of alignment or when I'm completely blind to something that is impacting my life. In fact, it was my oldest daughter that called me out on behaviors that were happening five years ago, so she was pretty small at the time, and her words completely shifted my whole life's path. I mean, to be able to tell her thank you doesn't even begin to explain the value that she's added to my life through that one moment. And she taught me that I was being held accountable to the decisions and the choices that I was making in my life. It's pretty powerful, right? The fourth way our kids are always teaching us the law of attraction at work in our lives is that they know they haven't forgotten that life is supposed to be joyful, that the entire purpose of our life is to be happy. We as adults have forgotten this and they remind us. When we acknowledge that children actually want to be happy and when children are acting out in a way that is uncomfortable for us or in a way that shows that they are out of alignment they are also teaching us that through our own behaviors our own emotions that we have that compass of what's in alignment and what isn't kids know that connecting with their inner guidance is the key to satisfaction and we knew that too but we forgot it we learn to crave money. We, we learn to desire physical and, and material things through our cultural conditioning. But kids know their purpose. 
They know that they will find satisfaction through leaning into the things that they're good at and things that bring them joy. And they know they can expect further satisfaction by following the path of this contentment. The fifth way that kids teach us all about the law of attraction is not too dissimilar from number four, kind of leads in from number four. And that is that they notice differences but they're not making judgments. And judgments, of course, come later through our social conditioning. Children recognize the world, they recognize their life is full of opportunities, full of all the things that they want. And so they don't begin to act in, in jealous ways and start to make judgments and so, until we start to teach them that those conditions exist in the world. And of course, we've learned those conditions through our own social conditioning. And kids also see the abundance within their very own self. They see the good in their abilities and their talents and they're really content, they're really satisfied with that. Comparison, too, is something that we teach them. But as children, they haven't yet forgotten to take joy in other people's successes, to, to be happy for other people while still realizing that they can also be happy with themselves and for themselves. Lastly, kids have no judgment about resistance. They don't avoid it. They don't hate it. They look at it as a natural consequence of learning or part of the steps to learning. And this is such an important part of the law of attraction that they teach us. When they're learning to walk or to use utensils or to write, they don't make a mistake. They don't fall. They don't drop the utensil and then decide, oh, this, this just isn't for me. I'm gonna give up on this because it didn't come easily. No, they, they say, okay, well, when I walked, I fell. And even if they're a very, very small child at that time, they're learning, they're adjusting, they're, they're seeing what worked when they tried to walk and, and what didn't. And they grow from the experience and then they conquer all that they achieved to do in that skill. We lose our way with resistance somewhere along the line in adulthood. We, we begin to, to fear the, the emotional pain or the physical pain that can come through resistance and learning experiences. But what kids teach us and what we can learn is, is that if you're always looking for the lessons and what you're experiencing, even if they are perceived as bad or not good or painful, if you're looking for those learning opportunities, then it grows you in really beautiful ways. So those were my six ways that kids teach us all about the law of attraction. If you'd like to hear more, I invite you to come check out the Abundant Parent membership. Each month I bring an expert in the field to teach you all their tips and tools for being the parent that connects best with their kids, for the parent that feels best about themselves and becomes a great grounded source for their family. You can find that on theabundantparent.com. You're gonna to wanna to click on the tab that says membership. Thank you so much for watching. I know your parenting time can be minimal and valuable, and I really appreciate the time that you spend watching my videos. I'm wishing you a day full of light, love, and abundance.